Hey, and welcome back to another episode of the Rawness with Mark podcast, the unedited and unfiltered number one podcast in Africa. It is I, your host, Mark Kosima. First, I'd like to begin by greeting you all. I hope you are doing well and enjoying the podcast so far. Without any further ado, let's dive right into today's topic. Just as you read from the episode title, today we are going to talk about the COVID relief funds that have just been sent by government to the Ugandans, most especially the vulnerable ones, via mobile money. Sometime back last week, the government released a list that categorized the vulnerable Ugandans that would receive the air quotes Nabanja money. These included, to mention but a few, taxi drivers, slum dwellers, stroke ghetto residents, my ghetto friends Wagwan, street vendors and orphans, and many more. On the 8th of July 2021, the sending of the Nabanja money was commenced with a local resident of Gulu and Buddha Buddha rider Godfrey Oluya being the first lucky one to receive the money. Big ups to him. Hope he hasn't already depleted it in alcohol, as you know, Ugandan men. Every vulnerable Ugandan is expected to receive 100k Ugandan shillings, which amounts to around 27 US dollars. But I took some time to do some calculations to see whether this money is enough to take even the most vulnerable Ugandan through a month, say in July. This is if they will send even more money next month. On average, a Ugandan household consists of four members, mother, father, and the two children. And let's say that each household has received only 100k on the father's mobile money. A family of four people on the lowest budget of 100k a month, eats in a day, let's say 2 kilos of posho, which amounts to like 4k. A kilo of beans is around 2.5. Um, this amounts to 6,500 a day spent on food only. Now if we multiply this 6.5 by 30 to give us how much money is spent on food for a month by a family, eating only beans and posho, this gives us around 195k meaning that even the 100k is not even enough to just feed the family for a month on the most minimal budget keep in mind that i've not even talked about other necessities like the water and charcoal to cook the food i've not accounted for anything else like electricity rent and lots of other must-haves as any family This goes to show that there's still a lot of work to be done by government to ensure that even the most vulnerable families can be able to pull through during a lockdown like this. This is all I had for today's episode, but I can't wait to hear your views and opinions on the matter in the comment section. Also, please remember to subscribe to the podcast on all platforms, whether YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts, and rate us everywhere to help the podcast grow. I remain your host of the Rawness with Mark podcast. Stay mighty and blessed. Peace.